Hey guys. I want to be cool, but I don't know how. I'm just awkward and bi. Okay, never mind. Hey guys, my name is Amadea. I'm a digital artist and I will be telling you about how I manage and produce my happy meal, which is the tire on Patreon when people can sign up to get physical goodies up of, you know, all the little insights that I post on my Patreon page. So if that sounds good to you, make sure to stick around and make sure to hit like and subscribe because that would help me out so much. All right. So let's get into it so i'm gonna tell you guys today these are some of the prints i have on etsy they are hanging up above my head too and then i also have disney princess stickers which are all based on my artwork that i create in procreate and i also have a tire on patreon where you can sign up for monthly sticker goodies so you get one of these in the mail each month and i'm gonna be showing you how i make the sticker holographic details shine on certain areas and tell you all about that process as well and so in this video i show you guys everything i do each month to make sure that i have my stickers ready to go in the beginning of the month when i mail them out to my patrons let's start with me showing you my patreon page and how the process starts for the sticker mail tire overall so basically what i do first is i ask my patrons which sticker they want to get in the mail next month and the way i get ahead of this is that i have a modern princesses collection i've been working on for years and every month i make a new artwork for this collection and basically with the stickers i am about three months ahead of time so i have free artworks ready that haven't been turned into stickers yet so in the beginning of the month i make a poll based on that and each month i add an additional design to the poll and so for you this could be a good idea if you want to start a collection in a fan base or even your original characters and you know that there are people who love those characters and um, would be interested in buying stickers from them then you can build up about a collection of about five artworks and then when you start your patreon you could say which one of these five characters would you like to receive in the mail as a sticker and then people could vote and then the next month you know you would have four left from those but then you would add one to it with the new artwork and then every month you could have five designs in the poll and then this also takes off a pressure of you a little bit in terms of creating new artwork constantly because um, you would have, you know, artwork ready and each month you would only have to stress about making sure the sticker is ready. And as far as rushing the creation process, you wouldn't need to because even if one month you would go down to four artworks that are ready, it's okay because <laughs> you're staying ahead of the game. I think I started out with having, you know, like six different options and now I'm down to three because like each month when I create my new artwork, I want to make sure that I give myself enough emotional time to process my thoughts and my ideas and not rush the artwork process. Because we all know you can't really rush art if you want to do a really great job. It's an emotional process and you want to make sure that you're there for it the whole way through and not stress yourself out about it because then the art won't be as good. So this is how I structure my pose. And this is an example I'm going to show you guys on Patreon. So I have these four options as a picture posted for the poll and then people voted for each of them. And you can see it tied. Two of the princesses got the same amount of votes. So what I did after that is I posted a poll on my Instagram story to decide from the two people. So I prioritize my patrons because they are the most amazing people who support me monthly to be able to do art um, as a freelance job and it's super duper helpful to have my patrons there and so i will always ask them first about anything and give them the priority to decide on whatever i'm working on next but then of course my instagram followers is are also so amazing and not everyone can give you that extra financial support which i completely understand and is totally okay and i love my instagram crew so much so it's kind of a nice way that you know they tied out and then i can make a poll on instagram stories and see how my instagram friends feel about <laughs> the next princess oh look i have a little elf ear peeking out there. <laughs> i kind of need i wish i had like a 
a cap to put on there, but I don't. So maybe Christmas gift idea for myself. Okay, back to the what matters. So after I have the results, what I do is I go to that artwork, which I already have finished, which is super helpful. So for example, last month, my results for who the princess sticker will be was Pocahontas. And I am actually in this video gonna show you guys how I make the sticker live from finish to the end for the winner of this month's poll, which is currently in the making. So this month's poll is gonna be probably either Alice or Cinderella. And so I'm gonna show you guys how I make the sticker for that one. And then also when the sticker arrives in the mail, I'm gonna show you guys how it looks like. So I have the finished artwork for Pocahontas here. And what I end up doing is I spend a couple hours going into the Procreate file and editing the layers for the artwork that was a winner. For example, there is a layer for just the design on her um, skirt and I want those details to be holographic so I kind of plan this out and I will show you guys this once we get the winner for this month's poll live on how I do this process so make sure to stick around for that so basically today I'm gonna be showing you guys live how I pack up the sticker mail for my patrons and for my patrons, I like to personalize the letters a little bit. I do a handwritten card and I put in one sticker for in each of the cards for them. And this looks a little different than how I package mail for Etsy orders. So I thought it would be cool to show you guys the difference. And this might give you some freedom as well in how you budget for your Patreon Happy Mail. And so, you know, you don't have to go super professional with it. Sometimes people like that personal touch that, you know, it just feels like they're just getting a card from their friend. And also, you know, your followers and you know, your friends and fans and what they would like. So you can tailor this to your audience, but I'm going to show you guys right now how I back up my Patreon orders and um, kind of explain how, like what my thought process is for each little card that I make and um, yay. <laughs> so I basically have my little box that has all packaging materials in it, like stamps and um, thank you cards and things like that, envelopes, baggies. But for my Patreon goodies, I don't think I will need much of these, except I will need some stickers to put on the envelopes. I do these thank you stickers. And then I will also need stamps. So I have some international patrons and that's an international stamp for them. And then some normal stamps for um, not international patrons. And here we go. We have some happy mail stickers also for the envelopes, which are just super cute and fun. And then I have a label, label printer, which is really cute and helpful. I will be printing out a bunch of labels here um, that will have my address on them and then also my patrons addresses and so this will just kind of streamline the process of me doing the handwritten cards and not having to hand write the addresses as well which i used to do it that way so it totally works if you're just starting out but um it's almost like saving myself some brain bit to like not having to stress myself out about writing out the addresses perfectly. Look at how pretty the light is on this plant here. I'm just so happy that that's going on. Ah, I love this plant. Hey plant, you're beautiful. I love you. Thank you for having my days happy. <laughs> Do you guys like your plants? Am I just a crazy lady? <laughs> All right, so I am also gonna write thank you cards on these kind of cute designs. So I pick out um, these kind of cards um, for my sticker mail that have, can be folded because I don't want the sticker to just fall out of the envelope. So I think it kind of like gives it a little bit of a safety. So I'm just gonna write a note on these cards. This month's sticker mail is Pocahontas. For the stickers that I will be showing you guys how I pack up and then next month's sticker will be Cinderella or Alice and I'm gonna be showing you how I make the sticker 
holographic details shine on certain areas and tell you all about that process as well. So I have some different card designs in this box, as you can see, but I think that this one will be really cool for Pocahontas because I think they match really well. So it's just gonna be like a very cute vibe to open this up and have the sticker in there and your note. And this also helps to save on your budget because you don't have to buy like personalized cards every month because that would add to your budget for how much your patrons have to pay monthly as, pay monthly as well. And I like to keep it low budget so that everyone can just get that feel of receiving something in the mail each month rather than having to pay extra for it. Um, I want to make it accessible basically for more people gonna get to the grind right now so i'm literally just going to print out some labels i have to do that from your phone so i'm gonna stop recording and then i'm gonna time lapse myself writing out these cars so you guys can see how it is going but i imagine that you get the idea already so that is the next step let's go <laughs> So we have all our Patreon envelopes prepped, we have addresses on there, we have stamps and Happy Mail stickers. So I'm just gonna put these on here, pick them one by one and the name it says, I am going to write a thank you card for that person and put a sticker in there and then seal the envelope and put a little thank you note, um, thank you sticker on the seal. So that is gonna be the next 30 minutes or so. have all 12 patreon happy mail packaged up it looks so cute i am so excited to put this in the mailbox and part two of this video i will tell you guys how i exactly edit the sticker files and the layer files for these stickers to come to life so it kind of will be go back a couple steps and um yeah so this packaging was the final step of happy mail but i am going to explain in the next video the previous step which is the sticker design and i hope that you will tag along for me for part two i will link the video here so make sure to check that out next and i love you guys so much thank you for being here it means the world to me this is my passion and you make this possible for me so it means the world <laughs> make sure to subscribe all the princesses telling you to subscribe so make sure to do it real quick <laughs> Hi. Ah! almost fell down <laughs>